Hello everybody, I'm Chris from Hellegard.com. In this demo I will create a 4 GB USB stick to dual boot Windows and Linux with real systems and not just ISO files. I will use this uh, for rescue of crashed computers using the ultimate CD for Windows and Linux Puppy. Both of these have excellent tools for repair and rescue. Let's go! Windows 7 desktop have started RM Prep USB. Let's zoom in. SanDisk 4GB cruiser blade. Install XP bootloader format file system and TFS. Tick this box to copy files from here. Various rescue files. Let's prepare the drive. And we leave it here. Let's boot the USB stick. BIOS, F12 for the BIOS boot menu, hard disk, the first device. XP type boot menu, Grub4 type boot menu, and generic entries for booting host PCs. Starting UBCD for Windows. It's loading now. And it's loading XP type shell. And here we are. Okay, now to the second partition. BIOS, Romish boot menu, the USB drive at the bottom, tab 0 and tab F5 twice. This is the third disk in Romish partition manager. Shrinking the first partition and creating the second partition. File system actually ext3. Boot flag and boot manager. Boot manager and the advanced interface. F2 to save. Ready to install Linux Puppy. I have booted the installation CD with Linux Puppy and it installs to RAM. Sorry about the video quality. Anyway, from here I install Linux Puppy to drive SDC2 without problems. Let's move on to make the partition bootable in two steps. First go to Linux SUSE. This is the Linux SUSE desktop. I have copied the Grub1 folder to here and replaced the menu LST with this one. For puppy. Notice drive HD01, first drive, second partition. Now copy this over to partition SDC2. Let's choose our USB stick as the first device. Grab prompt. And here entering the commands, notice that drive HD 0,1 is the first drive on the second partition. You can find the commands in the written companion. Setup. Boot sector is now installed. Let's boot Linux Puppy. Rebooting. First device. Second partition on the first disk. And this is our Grub1 boot menu. Puppy highlighted. Boots OK, but we'll leave here and boot Puppy on another host. My wife's laptop. Disk1 partition 2. And a Grub1 boot menu. I booting. 
and loading SFS file to ROM and here we are that's it in the written companion there are more details there's a link to it in the description also suggest that you check my blog for multibooting hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching